Hello everyone, my name is Will. Thank you for joining us on Olympian Go. On today's show, we sat down with many special guests and talked about the upcoming Olympics being held in Brazil. We had the opportunity to sit down with Paul Spear, Interim Athletic Director at Framingham High School, and a representative from the Brazilian Consulate. Members from Bancroft Boxing came down and talked to us and taught us a few moves we could try at home. Today's show is sponsored by Gem JMH Incorporation, MNK, Styles, and more. So sit back and relax and enjoy the show. Welcome to today's segment of Community Connections. I'm Zion. Today we have a representative from the Brazilian Consulate, Mariana Lobato, and WSRO's General Manager, Ilma Paixão, with us in the studio. We are going to discuss their roles in the commu community and their thoughts on the upcoming Olympics that will be held in Brazil. Thank you, Zion. Now, Ms. Lobato, could you please explain to us what your job of, con um, what your job of consul entails? Well, um, at the Consulate of Brazil in Boston, I have many responsibilities, um, including taking care of the educational and cultural sector, and also we have the contact with the Brazilian community, and um, we also take care of our students from Brazil who are here in Boston. Um, Ms. Paisel, um, how did your relationship form, and how do others benefit from your partnership? Um, we talk about the business or with the consulate? The business. Okay. Uh, my business, I'm a director of a radio station in, mm. uh, in Framingham, which now in the Cape and Boston. And my relationship with the community is we're pretty much the voice for the community. So we come together not only with the listeners, but also with a lot of partners. We do work with the Brazilian consulate, with the consulate does an amazing work for the Brazilian community here. And so then, so we pretty much a voice for that work and many other great work and organizations that happen in the community. Um, and Ms. Lovato, what are your feelings about having the Olympics in Brazil? Well, I'm very excited to that Brazil is, ho is um, hosting the Olympics. It will be a great event. And what do you think the country has to offer? Well, we have to um, we have a lot to offer. Uh, Brazil is a very diversity country, and I believe that all the athletes and the tourists who, who are going there, they will find uh, um, a lot of uh, culture, a lot of music, a lot of beautiful place to go, and um, uh, they will have um, probably they will for sure have um, a good experience there and uh, they will meet, meet all kind of people, they will get together, and uh, well, that will be great. Um, so what Olympic events or athletes are you both looking forward to seeing during the Games? Well, um, I love to see the opening, the big opening of the game with um, all the athletes together, all the country flags, and I just love it. And I'm also a fan of the gymnastics. I, I love to see them. It's so beautiful. I love the gymnastics. Yeah, that's true. But also the volleyball. They're going to do the volleyball because volleyball is huge yeah. in Brazil. Yeah, right? it's huge. Yeah. Yeah. And we're good, good at it. Oh, very good at it. So, so we have a great chance to win on that yeah. one. I think it's going to be such a great event in Brazil. We tend to do great in the last minute. <laughs> so thank you both for joining us. And uh, now to Isabella. Thank you, Ms. Lobato and Ms. Paishon for taking time out of your busy schedule and joining us in the studio. It was great to hear about your roles in the community and your thoughts on the upcoming Olympics. Thank you, Damaris and Neha for your great interview. I'm Isabella and this has been Community Connections. Welcome to the Marcus and Daniel show. I'm Marcus, he's Daniel, and today we are going to talk about sports update. I just can't believe Cavs beat the Warriors 89-91. Now here's Daniel. Hi, I'm Daniel, and I can't believe the Yankees beat the Red Sox 4-2, considering how the Yankees are fourth overall and the Sox are in second place in the American League standings. You can get more of us on podcast. The Marcus and Daniels Show on YouTube, and you can check us out at Marcus and Daniels Show dot com. Hey, want to be able to eat more food? Mm -hmm. 
Well, here's a glass of this new drink that will let you do just that. A few moments later. Eat repeat. The whole point of this drink is to allow you to eat more at parties without getting full, simply because there is just too much good food. As you just saw, it makes you throw up, but you can now eat even more amazing food. Then if you want, you can do it again. All you need to do to get this amazing drink is travel to your local grocery store and get a bottle for only $6.99. Hello everyone, my name is Leah Cullen. In today's segment of Community Connections, we have Paul Spear in the studio. Mr. Spear is a co coordinator of the Academic Development Center and Work Study Program. He is also currently the Interim Athletic Director at Framingham High School. Kaden and Bruno are going to ask Mr. Spear some questions about his role and his thoughts on the upcoming Olympics. Thank you, Mr. Spear, for joining us today. We have a few questions to ask you. Could you please explain what you do at Framingham High School? Sure, I'd be happy to explain what I do at uh, Framingham High. I, um, for the last uh, 10 years, uh, for the last 17 years, I've been the ice hockey coach at Framingham High, and for the last 10 years, I have worked um, in the work study program. And uh, I've worked with students every single day, and now this year, I'm gonna be the athletic director working with uh, athletes and coaches um, to try and uh, provide a great experience for all of our athletes and fans at uh, Framingham High School. How did you get interested in sports? What is your favorite sport? Well, uh, I got interested in sports in, um, when I was a kid, I used to play out in the front, play um, a lot of street hockey, and then my mother uh, got a saran ad in the newspaper and asked me if I wanted to play ice hockey. It was the old Middlesex News. And she was sitting there reading the paper and asked me if I wanted to play, and I said yes. And um, I always loved the Red Sox too, so when I was a kid growing up, I used to play a lot of um, baseball outside and spend a lot of time outside playing all kinds of sports. And um, so ever since I was a kid, I, I always loved playing sports. They're, they're fun. Uh, what does it take to be a, a success, successful student athlete? Well, I think the optimal part of what you asked when you said successful student athlete, um, what I found at Framingham High School is the kids who are good students we can always find a way for them to be good athletes. So to be a good student athlete, you really have to prioritize and make sure that you're taking care of everything that you're supposed to do in school, number one, um, and then be a good person. And then I think being a good student athlete requires you to be a good teammate to allow, um, to, to share you know, success with others. I think being a good student athlete takes really good time management skills. So if people want to be good student athletes, particularly at the high school level, they got to do really well in school, which requires them to do their homework. And then it requires a lot of work away from uh, the best student athletes become that way because they put in a lot of work outside of the field where they're at or outside of whatever um, place it is that they're competing. Champions are always made um, not during that competition, but at their practice when they work hard. So. Um, there's a lot of different things that go into becoming a great you know, student athlete, but number one is making sure that you take care of the student part. Okay. Uh, what are your thoughts on the upcoming Olympics? Oh, I'm excited to watch the Olympics. I um, remember a few years ago that girl, Allie Raceman from uh, Needham, was successful and won a gold medal. And I'm always excited to see the new stories that come out of the Olympics, the people that nobody knows about, the people that are um, great athletes and worked all their lives for this one moment. And then they go and um, have a great experience. And then, you know, people know who they are for the rest of their lives. Um, I think our basketball team, I was looking at our roster, our basketball team looks really, really good. So that's going to be a cool thing to watch. You guys like basketball? Yeah. So, I mean, all these great players being on the same team, how is that all going to play itself out? How will they interact? And like I said, uh, this gives us a great opportunity, the Olympics, to discover new superstars in sports. Um, and I think that, that uh, that's a pretty exciting you know, prospect. Thank you for joining us today. All right. It was great being here. You guys did a nice job. I want to compliment you on the outstanding job you did today. Thank you. Yeah, lefty shake. Bruno, nice work.
Yeah, absolutely, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Bruno and Caden, for a great interview. We are very fortunate to have Mr. Spear in the studio. That's all from us here. We'll see you next time on Community Connections. Wow, what is that? Why, it's the coolery, the coolest cooler there is. Why is it the coolest cooler? Well, it has three parts. Well, it's three compartments or more, you can say. So this is a microwave. You can heat up anything in it. This is a storage part where you can go and store anything you want and it won't be affected by either side. And this is a cooler where it's better than other products like Igloo. And this is a sound system where you can put your phone in and music will come out and it's louder, it's good. It's really good sound. And also, it has a pull-up charger station where you can charge anytime during the day. Not only is it solar powered, it also has a backup battery for it just in case. Finally, not only, finally, it also moves. Wow, it was really the coolest cooler ever. Everybody should have it. What is this mess? Who did this? Well, I can fix that with the cleaning machine. It gets the tough stains out. Really? Well, how? Well, it has a better life, and it comes in ex it comes in more colors. Oh. It has an eight month battery time, and then it holds more. Want to try? Yeah. Wow, it really does work. Yes. Uh, quick question: How do you get in my house? The cleaning machine is twenty one ninety nine. Find it at your local Bed Bath and Beyond, and the spokesman is sold separately. Hello everyone, my name is Bruno Tamero and in today's segment of Community Connections we have Carlos and Haley Cancel and Ben Lincoln from the, bo from the Bancroft Boxing in the studio. Um, Carlos, can you please tell us a little bit about Bancroft Boxing? Um, Why did you want to get involved with it? Um, Bancroft Boxing, it's a, it's a gym for boxing and fitness and I started getting involved when I was a young kid when I was fighting. And then after I stopped fighting, I was um, interested in training kids, get them, get, getting them off the street. So that's how it started. Um, Haley, how did you get involved with boxing? Um, I got involved by watching my dad when he was kind of like sparring with other people. I kind of started liking it, so then I kind of just wanted to do it. <laughs> um, Carlos, what is your favorite part about being able to help others work on their boxing skills? Just the development to see how they started and where they're ending, you know, like the, the, pro the progress. Um, other than boxing, what activities do you enjoy doing in your spare time? Um, I like doing gymnastics and singing. Um, what advice do you give people who are preparing for competition, like right before a competition? Um, you can't play boxing, you know. So if you if you if you decide to be a boxer. Make sure you train your hardest, because yeah. you could get hurt. Um, what are your thoughts on boxing being part of the Olympics? Oh, that's that's awesome. You know, that 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 was my goal when I was fighting to make the Olympic team, and now it's um her goal and Ben's goal and Jack's goal, so we love it. Yeah, that was my next question. Do you uh, <laughs> aspire to be the, on the U.S. Olympic boxing team one day? Yes, I really want to. Twenty twenty four. Well, thanks for being here with us Thank today. You. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, guys. How did you get involved with boxing? Well, I started with Framingham Pal, and that's when I started training with Carlos. And then we ended up quitting ba Pal and then going to Bancroft, and that's really how I started. That's when I started getting my, like, real good training in. What do you like about Bancroft boxing? I like how, like, all the they have a lot of a lot. They have a lot of good equipment, and just better than the old gym we had. Good. How do you manage your academics with your training? I try to get my schoolwork done in school, and then with homework I do it on the way home, and then I get ready for boxing when I'm at home. Do you have any like specific uh, workout plans or a specific diet you go on? Well, right before a national tournament, I really try to eat more healthy than when I'm not up for a national tournament. And my 
at home workout is ev every night I run and do 100 push-ups and 200 sit-ups. What's your favorite to What's your favorite food to eat after you make weight? Uh, I like to eat a lot of uh, what's it called? I like right after a fight. I like to eat pizza, just like chill out for until the next fight. While you're here, could you show us a few moves that we can practice at home? With? Um, yeah. Thank you for coming. Let's check out those moves. <laughs> Box Thank you, Hannah, Biaina, Ty, and Emily for a great interview. We're very fortunate to have Carlos, Haley, and Ben in the studio. That's all from us here. We'll see you next time on Community Connections. A wise man once told me, I can do anything I set my mind to. Well, I think I've made something pretty cool. I'm Caden Fox, and I've just created the Eraser Memory. See, if you ever missed your curfew, don't you don't need to worry anymore. All you need to do is just remember use the Eraser Memory and how to use it. See, all you need to do is on the Eraser Memory. All you need to do is there will be buttons. You click the person's name in, then you click the number of how many things you want to do. Then you type in hour, minute seconds, anything, so it erase their memory at that exact time. See, it can be pretty fun, but you gotta be pretty responsive. Now some of our satisfied customers. I'll never get punished again. Why this product for only $200.99? Don't worry, if you buy now, you will get dun, 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 another one for $70 extra. And the shipping and handling, don't worry about it. Not that much, only $35. Loser, you can't even dunk or shoot. What a worm. Are you mad that you can't dunk because you're small and people bully for it? Then buy Dunky Slinkies. Shoes that can move for the groove and especially the move. You could beat your friends and enemies one versus one in basketball. You could jump really high and go and go really fast. Dunky slinkies can, can turn your frown upside down.
have you ever, ever wanted, wanted to have, have superpowers? superpowers? Well, now you can. If you buy a super gear, you can fly, run really fast, and be super strong. And last but not least, jump super high. Super gear is also waterproof and fireproof, just in case. And it works in space, and it works anytime, anywhere, just when you need it. You don't need to charge it or use any power at all by using the, the tiny nuclear reactors. For only $300. Buy your super gear now. Super gear is your super transportation. Pokemon Go is a no-go while driving anywhere. You gotta be careful while you play Pokemon Go, you can fall off a cliff. Drivers don't care if you're playing Pokemon Go, they will run you over and you can't do anything about it when you die. Be cautious while you're meeting other Pokemon Go players, they could be crazy. Have a good day and help other Pokemon Go players. And make sure you don't play Pokemon Go during an electrical storm. is having a very bad day. First, she got up and her mother fixed her the worst thing ever for breakfast. And then when she got to school, her lunch was stolen. Now it's after school and she has to go to Russian math, which she hates beyond belief. Kara is still having a terrible day. It hasn't gotten any better. Now she's walking to Russian math, which she also hates because, well, it's boring. Not to mention, so much homework, and the teachers are so strict that can't even go to the bathroom. Kara is now at Russian math. She is having a lousy day as it is, and then the fire alarm starts to scream. Now, flames are chasing her down the hall. Kara's day has gotten better. Now that Russian math is burned to the ground, she can go to the party that she otherwise would have missed if she'd had to go, on, go to Russian math. Presenting the XX Color Code Necklace by MNK Styles, a device that will change your hair color based on your mood with the press of a button. No more spending hundreds on dyeing your hair when you can just get XX Color Code for $19.95. Style any way you want, ponytail, bun, or braids, and much, much more. Presenting the XX Color Code Necklace by MNK Styles, a device that will change your hair color based on your mood with the press of a button. No more spending hundreds on dyeing your hair when you can get XX Color Code for just $19.95. Style any way you like, bun, ponytail, even braids. Good evening and welcome to Top 34 News. I'm Awesomeness and tonight's top story is that the Queen of Six Flags was visiting the United States this week and made a trip to Boston for the annual Egyptian show at the convention center. Even Governor Marcus got his photo taken. Next, the Queen dined at the historic McDonald's Grill in downtown Boston. 
to sample the local cuisine. She ordered 16 plates of pears and managed to finish them all in under 10 minutes. Now for a look at the weather. Dad, Dad, look at my drawing. Mm. I am truly proud of you, son. Thank you, Dad. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This is really good. Um, I want to bring this drawing to 3D. Well, make it 3D. Boop, boop, boop. Finally done. Let's see. Oh my god. What? Or oh, this is abomination. It has five legs. Oh my gosh. Uh nasty. Uh. Dad, Dad, look at my drawing. Another one. That that is really um really good. Thank you. Thank you, Dad. Yeah. All right. So, going to make this really again. Hopefully this one works. Boop, boop, boop. Mm, it's finally done. It's good. This is perfect. Oh my gosh, my son's gonna be so happy. God. Thanks, homie. Well, Summer here, and and you are defini definitely going to be putting on plenty of iguanas, so you don't get a sunburn. It's going to be a soft week with a lot of Snoop Dogs and a triangle looking at the five-day forecast. We're going to see a lot of cl hot clouds moving into the area. Make sure you have plenty of hot dogs for your 4th of July barbecue. Because the sun will be out and there won't be gr gorilla in the sky. That's your weather forecast. I hope you have a safe and yellow week. Do you hate having to pay monthly for premium versions of an app? We do too. Think of all the good things you could be doing with the money to use to pay for these apps. You could spend it at the mall. You could go on vacation. You could save up the money to buy a car. Or pay for college. You should stop using these apps altogether. Why pay for something when it could be free? It's a waste of money. Falling behind on your finances? At least you have a premium version of YouTube that you don't even use anymore. Can't buy that cute dress you saw at the mall? At least you can have that premium version of the Spotify that doesn't even let you play whatever music you want. You see, you end up paying for something you don't even like anymore. And I think you can survive watching a 15 second ad. Don't, don't want to pay? Then don't watch! Woo! It's a good week to be a sports fan. A lot of excitement happening around town. Over the weekend, the Framingham Pandas beat the Natick Wheels with a score of 33 to 7. If you were lucky enough to be in Boston over the weekend attending the hockey game at Steph Curry Arena, then you would have seen the Boston designers beat the New York Tuna with a score of 23 to 12. It was a great game. Even President T. Swizzle was in town to see it. That's all for me in the sports desk. Back to you. Hey there, are you tired of people stepping on your heel? Well, now we invented the Heel Protector. This is a state-of-the-art product. It comes in all different colors and sizes, so it will fit you just right. This product here shocks and traumatizes the person, so they will never step on your heel again. It is also lightweight, so you won't have to drag your foot around everywhere. Buy it now at heelprotector.com. We will ship it to your house.